Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's great to have you here with us today. I hope your day has been going very well. I have some Easter colored kitchen items that I would love to share with you. So I like how it turned out, but let's look first at some things on the kitchen counter that I'd like to show you. Norm wanted to purchase this set recently. Very, very colorful set. It's quite modern. He just loved the bright colors. It's different than my other Islip pictures. It could be more 70s. I really don't know much about it. We haven't tried to look it up to see who made it. But he thought it was very, very fun and cheery, so he talked me into it. I didn't know if it would even fit on the shelving with the other 50s Islip pictures because it is taller, but it just barely made it. But I thought we should take it out and put it on the counter here with the glasses to let you see how cheery that is. I want to show you something pretty crazy. I was into a toy phase back in the 90s and I bought these cupcakes new. They are toys. Maybe some of you are familiar with them. Maybe some of your children played with tea bunnies. They came in all different sizes. Of course they had, uh, you know, lots of things to play with with the bunnies. Um, these are the babies. The ears on the tiny little baby bunnies inside are the little buds sticking out of those holes. So when you open up these cupcakes there is a tiny tiny little bunny in there with a rattle, a sippy cup, a little thing to wrap him up in, or her in a little bonnet. They're absolutely crazy. I didn't buy them to play with, obviously. I bought them because I thought they would be just adorable for Easter decor. I haven't used them for quite a few years. I guess I just kind of got tired of them, but they are very, very sweet. And I thought it would be a fun time to share them with you. Pretty detailed. I found this duck and ducklings on the back, apothecary, for just a couple dollars at the Goodwill recently. And it is stamped on the side Carlton Glass Company, I imagine. It just says Carlton and it says 1980 something. The second number is too hard to read. So I didn't fill it full of jelly beans because I I wanted you to see the duck pattern on it. I thought it was pretty sweet to be able to use for Easter. This is a uh, old, probably 70s maybe, Lucite napkin holder. I thought you would find kind of fun for Easter too because of the crazy combination of pink and orange. For this Easter display, I decided to try to use pretty much just three colors, yellow, turquoise, and pink. I didn't want to use very much red or green if I could help it, and orange neither. There's a lot of cute pictures that I have that and even Pyrex probably that has a, some orange in it and that's a definite Easter color, but I just wanted to do something different this year. Last year I did it in March and I didn't really work with the pastels as such. I was using some green and gold even because it was mainly meant to be a spring display. So I don't think you've seen this type of display 
in my kitchen yet because I've even left out a lot of the little farm animal planters. Just tried to stick with lambs and bunnies. There's one little doggy there though because his cart is quite Eastery. Looks like little eggs on the side even so. He's in there, but pretty much um, little pigs, bunnies, lambs, and uh, ducks. So I, I hope the color isn't too rich. We've put a very large um, light that is a professional lamp for photographing out here. And I'm trying to do this in the evening now. It seems like when I try to do it in the daytime with all the daylight coming in, it really seems to be darker. The colors don't come out as nice. This is a new phone I wanted to tell you about. We just found it a, a couple of weeks ago in an antique shop for only $10. It's in really good condition. And the uh, old red one that we had was wider it was a heavier phone and it was a dial type so that was older than this one but I'm happy to have something more neutral right now especially when working with these colors I didn't want the red phone out here so that was very timely that we just happened to run across it very timely so that was great and only ten dollars so as I've mentioned my brother gave me most of this turquoise or pink Pyrex which I am very very grateful for I did maybe add something here and there I'm not remembering for sure if he had some of these apple blossom ones and I honestly don't remember even who made those I don't think it's Pyrex. I'm just not sure. I even tried to look it up a little bit ago and I didn't find anything. So he really had a lot of refrigerator dishes for the butter print. Very surprising how many he had of those. I have some up on that shelf and some down on this shelf too. Down here is uh, that fun bird dish. I kept that out because I really didn't have enough of these larger bowls on the bottom. This is probably one of my favorite couple. I didn't buy the blue one. I see it now and then. It didn't. Those two I bought individually. And I do like this turquoise one with fruit on it. But these little planters are always fun. I found many of them for like anywhere from three to five dollars. And I just recently kind of discovered that Shawnee made a lot of these. Not necessarily the ones I'm looking at right here, but I'll show you a lamb down further that is Shawnee and I have a lot more of them around the corner that I'll be showing you in the corner of the dining area on a little shelf over there. These two I just found at the thrift store and I did put one of the special eggs in it that I have. This is a unique owl one that I also have in green over here. Right there I did show you a glimpse of it but didn't talk about it. So those were pretty unusual. I've never seen them since. I got them many years ago. Norm really likes these, like I had mentioned, geometric designs. 
So I only put the geometric ones down there. Let's go look at the floral ones that I tried to stick with up here. This is one of my favorite. Very lovely turquoise and soft yellow. Really neat. And that could be, you think that's dogwood? I'm not sure, could be. I've had these, pretty much most of these for a long time. That's a very nice daffodil one and I have another daffodil one downstairs. I probably should have brought that one up, but it wasn't quite as pastel looking. This is Cosmos, I believe. And this one's a much smaller print with a little bit of red tulips there. Doesn't stand out too badly when I'm trying to leave the red out. And that's that weather vane theme. Sorry, that's probably hard to see. Rooster weather vane. This looks like a morning glory maybe, but I don't remember the leaves on a morning glory. They don't grow them. I have this same one with orange and yellow. And you've seen that one before. Up here is some of the bigger casseroles that I have. This one we purchased. Nice metallic gold on it. That is such a pretty one. That I had out for January. That one I had out for February. And there's another big butter print one. So I'll actually have two of those large ones. So yes, that was very nice of my brother to be so generous. These are the hot pads that I chose for Easter colors. I wish my phone wouldn't make them darker than they really are, but I'm going to have to try to read and find out why it's doing that. We've tried very bright lights out here and the phone just darkens it back down again. Very strange. This one's quite large and it is made to go around I believe a metal trivet. It didn't come with it so I cut a piece of white foam board and wrapped it around that so I could hang it up. It's just a thin single layer so you can see the white foam board behind it but that works just fine. These two are the same pattern but different colors. And this one's quite bold and more turquoise than what you're seeing in my phone. It is a little more the robin's egg blue. And a couple on that side that you've probably already seen in my winter decor with turquoise and the February one with pink. Over here a couple more that I'm shadowing a little bit, sorry. And up here, I was pretty happy just this month when we went to the Pink Squirrel. I think it was the second Wednesday of the month I noticed this duck picture way high up on a shelf. Norm could hardly reach it. It was exactly the same one that I was 
eyeing and really wished I could get in a Hutchinson, Minnesota tour of an, the Hutchinson Antique Mall, Main Street one that we did a video of, several videos of, and it was $14.99 there and I really was liking it. It is made in Japan. It's stamped on the bottom. And they, uh, because they wanted fourteen ninety nine, I I didn't get it. But then we went to the pink squirrel here when we found it on the high shelf. There it was only nine ninety nine, and it's quite large and so fun. Then we just a week ago went to Bibles for Missions, and of course they had their Easter stuff out, and this great big soup tureen was sitting there for $5.75. The spoon is missing, but it is also stamped on the bottom, quite large, says Japan. So they must have been made about the same time. They both look like the same kind of ceramic. So I was pretty happy about those two. I'm starting to end up with a collection here. I didn't really intend to, but I kind of like having a recipe box for the different seasons that looks appropriate, but I thought I might as well bring them all up. And these are kind of fun and I found them really reasonable, like $5. So there's a few fun more eggs down there. And I thought this was an egg looking vase, vintage vase. I don't know who made it, but it's kind of kind of neat with the design on it that makes you think of eggs. So I'm using that for now and added a very fun tall chocolate bunny. These carrots are very fun to use for Easter. The larger ones are by Avon. So I don't know how old they are, but they pull out to the top greenery pulls out and it's a pen. And they also made a celery stalk that's the same where the top pulls out to use as a pen. And the other three are much older thinner plastic carrots. I really enjoy having them out for Easter. And up here I separated out a set that also included a blue tulip. But it's quite a blue and I just don't ever tend to use it. These are really, really old, I believe. I may have seen them on the internet once. I don't look for them, but I found these little tiny things a long time ago. They are very tiny and sweet. So I like them on this little shelf. I happened to find this past fall, a couple of sets of very fancy salt and peppers. These darling little birds, I believe, are by Norcrest. And the little guy had just a little paint chip on his hat, which I touched up. And he also had a little chip on the base that I filled in with some Elmer's glue. And I could do another little layer of it. And I don't think it would be necessary to paint because it's not showing very well. It's on the left by his middle toe. So they were at Family Pathways for um, either $3.99 or $4.99 a piece. So that was kind of a splurge for me, but how often do you see something like that at the thrift store? That was pretty fancy and I don't normally pick out things that are in purple, but she's too cute to pass up and that was only a little dollar left in little bone china basket 
and these two were from an antique store. They're probably going to end up upstairs in my pink bedroom with my fancy little poodles and kitties figurines that I have up there. Even though they're salt and pepper, they're still pretty cute to sit in a, that type of collection. They're a little fancy for my kitchen, actually, but they were hard to resist. I just found this really incredibly eastery colored pot holder. No. Yeah, pot holder. <laughs> I cannot believe the colors in it. So sweet. I've never found one that colorful. And it was a dollar twenty-five in an antique shop just recently, several weeks ago. Really a surprise. Nothing too fancy there. I should have straightened out that rose one. Gets hung up on that hook all the time. These two I probably use for Valentine's Day. I can't remember anything pink. But they work for Easter too. That's a pretty fancy one. A yellow rose. This is very sweet for Easter. as well as that. Over here, I was being brave by putting a blue one up. I didn't have a lot that I thought would work for Easter, you know, more pastels. But that's pretty pastel and peach, quite different. Over the stove, I found a couple of Hot pads that were similar size and shape. I put these two, three little roosters out here. Hens, I should say, not roosters. The, the two end figurines I found in La Crosse, Wisconsin. And this is just a figurine too in the middle, painted quite cute for spring. And I just changed back to the boxes of extracts and flavors, you know, colors, the dye and a few flavors, and the cute sprinkles. The new one is the pastels there with flowers, of course, that came out for Easter, so I thought I'd get one and add it to this fun collection. It just makes it real colorful. I brought out the uh, Darling Polka Dot stainless steel tea kettle that I found at the Goodwill last summer, which sure is cute, very Eastery, and my funny hen mug. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Crazy mug. But that was so eastery and it's, I forget the brand. It's hard to find the brand on the internet. I've looked and one time I thought it showed that it came from Williams Sonoma. But I honestly can't remember the brand. It just says quality stainless on the bottom. So I did try it out and it whistles. Very cute. This is uh, another one of our Lucite napkin holders that I don't believe I've shown yet. It is a very tall one. Really fun. This is a uh, exciting new addition to our vintage kitchen. Vintage inspired. I found this um, in the basement of Up Your Alley vintage shop that we just filmed recently. Everybody's been really enjoying the video of so much uh, vintage retro decor. So this was $20 and it's in excellent condition. 
we thought it would be uh, a fun item to add out here in the kitchen. And this little bunny is pretty cute. A lot of chocolate there. I still have the orange canister set out because I really didn't have anything in, you know, paler, eastery colors. So that's the best I could find in my basement. This is new. It's a really nice uh, quality ceramic large creamer or pitcher and it looked very eastery to me. I found it at the Goodwill for $2.99. Lots of little chicks and eggs so it looked pretty eastery to me. Eastery. And to bring some little flower twigs out here. Uh, one of the viewers thought was probably for Scythia bush. They are so gorgeous in the spring when you drive by somebody's yard and see this bright yellow bush. So pretty. We don't have any of that going on in Minnesota yet. And I just found this too for $5.99 in an antique shop. I thought it was pretty unique. It's You're supposed to be able to hang it up on your wall I suppose but I'm not going to do that. I had to repaint the red on it. It was pretty chippy. But I thought it was a fun addition to have out here. So I hope you enjoyed that little corner. Over here I'd like to share a thrifted little tiny rack I found at, I think it was the Goodwill. I wasn't sure if it was going to work for juice glasses or not, but it does. These are just tiny little vintage juice glasses. I started buying a collection of them to put on my little reticulated metal shelf in the middle of our dining room wall. They do look really cute when you put all those little flowers and colors together. I do have a photo of doing that a couple years ago. So I just wanted to share the fact that I couldn't believe I found that funny little rack. I think Norm spray painted it for me because it was looking pretty tired. Back here I just thrifted this cute chick and very large egg vase and put some old plastic flowers in it. From the Goodwill, the, the vase was pretty cheap. And this was from Family Pathways. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it, but it is a Royal Copley Darling Bird, and I do show it in one of my early thrift hauls. The sticker is still on the bottom over there. So it was in excellent condition and probably a little bit of a splurge. Not bad though. And I found this fun Eastery looking to me uh, vintage old plastic tray with old bird cages on it and that is gold one over there it does have gold accents on it so I thought that would be fun to prop up out here for a little pink and this was a silly silly mug that I decided to pick up this is a set of mugs, one, two, three, four, that I was happy to find. It's not our typical color, but it's just very striking. And it is the same kind of wonderful bone china mugs that we drink out of every day. Thought it would be very colorful for this video. And Norm has always enjoyed the real geometric patterned glassware. So he picked out these three. More juice glass size. They're a tiny bit bigger than the ones I showed you below. You can see the difference right there. The spiky yellow flower is more the ones I showed in this rack that fit best. And I found three of these very fun 70s, very thick 
painted, very shiny paint on them from a thrift store. I think it was Bibles for Missions. Their glasses are so cheap. 49 or 99 cents. It's just amazing what they sell them for. And over there, some more juice glasses, all thrifted, sweet, eastery looking mugs, very, very smaller mugs. And I know I've shown you in previous videos that I have a pretty good selection of D-handle glass bake mugs. So I change the colors accordingly to the time of year. And there's some of the wild bone china ones up there. And they're very fun. Over here at the end of the counter is something I found many, many years ago. A very, very sweet, I'm assuming Japan, um, bunny and barrel. Very nice condition. I have no idea what I paid for it, but I'm pretty frugal, so I'm sure I did not have to spend much, and it was a long time ago. The flowers, I honestly can't remember. They're all plastic, very funny. Even plastic pussy willows, it's so funny. I don't recall if they were in something else or it actually was in this bunny, but I added the old egg plastic poke and the little, uh, what do you call that, flocked chick poke. So I added those two in there. There was plenty of room. Up above here, as I mentioned, I've been finding so many of these little planters, vintage sweet animals. So there are two there, a pig and a lamb, another different pig and a different colored lamb. That one has turquoise on it instead of just being all pink, like the one below. Really sweet. This one down here doesn't have a nose or mouth painted on it, but this one up here does. I really like that one. And then I found both these lambs this year at the Goodwill. I didn't put anything in them. I think they're cute just the way they are. So that's what the corner shelving looks like. Pretty Eastery. I sure enjoy them. In our dining area, I put on a vintage tablecloth that is about the most eastery one I could find. It's a little faded, so you know it's been loved. I didn't press it. I'm sorry. I I really didn't have the time today. I, I know you'll forgive me for that. And I changed my glasses over there to yellow tulips. We'll go look at them. And those bird mugs down there, the set includes oh, three more colors, I think. There's a caramel color, a red. Uh, maybe that's it. But I just used the more eastery pastel colors. There's more eggs over there and a big collection of chocolate Easter bunnies. Let's go look at all that. A couple years back, I saw this very fancy glass uh, nesting hen and thought it was just so sweet. Very, very fancy basket design. Really ruffled edge on it. And I thought it would be really fun to use on the table for Easter for jelly beans. And there's more eggs here. 
and I tried to match the tablecloth with. I've thrifted both of these little ceramic bunnies this spring. They were really, really, really cheap. Some more Easter eggs. And how many of you had, or your grandma had, or your mom, these little treat trees? I purchased two of them that um, are different. This one has more of a flower petal, little tiny trays for the candy. And the other one was just a plain round disc, but lots of lines in, in it. So it was a fancy little tray. But Norm loaded it up for me with the jelly beans this morning. So I've kept that for quite a long time. It's a fun centerpiece, I think. Many of you may have run across this set of bird mugs that I have always thought is so sweet. I really, really enjoy them. I put out the red ones and orange ones and gold ones, um, probably the yellow for summer, but the turquoise yellow and green are really sweet for Easter. It's just that I kind of needed seven. Yeah, seven. And that ends up giving you the odd one in the middle, the orange. But that's okay. Kind of fun to have the uh, pop of orange there when I have so much orange down below with the friendship pattern, Pyrex. And I put some Easter baskets in the hutch and up above the hutch. I'll go a little closer to show you them. I was really surprised yesterday I took this little orange plastic potted flowers it's a little table favor, I assume. Wow, I'm looking at a Hong Kong little label in there. I didn't even realize it was sticking out of there. I see it now. Yep, that's pretty funny. So you know that's pretty vintage. Little table favor. It just fit in this bird or chick, not sure which, egg cup. Well, that, that was fun to discover. I didn't notice that last year. Some more baskets and eggs. Now, this is a very large ceramic egg. That egg cup is pretty big compared to the bird. Pretty big. A year ago or more, I think it was even off season. I purchased a set of eight of these wonderful glasses that even have a gold rim on top. They were all in the original box. I can't remember if it was Anchor Hawking, the box. I didn't keep the box. You may think I'm terrible, but I did not like the fact that it was not clean. It just, to me, is not worth it. Some people really enjoy having original packaging, but I don't care for things that are a little grungy looking. Not me, sorry. So these are some of the baskets over many years that I found very reasonable. As a matter of fact, I just found this at a thrift store. I was shocked. Boy, was it cheap, too. I'll see if I can find that price and put it up above. That's pretty amazing what that one cost. That was a real surprise. 
So those are the baskets up there. And this was also a really wonderful $9.99 at Bibles for Missions. That was a shocker. Beautiful big Fenton vase. These are very sweet little flowers. Really tiny. Down here I decided to raise up this compote with uh, a piece of Pyrex. That just helps. I could see it better from across the table. So these are all different than what I showed you in the living room. A lot of these eggs have a hole on the bottom so they stand up. Whereas the ones, a lot of the ones in the living room had the hole on the long way so they laid down. Most of these do have the holes on the bottom. So the ones in the middle are standing up, but I just couldn't get them all to stand up. Too many in there. These are the colors I picked out for some vintage pictures. That pink one's really nice. Matches the yellow one. I'm not sure who made them. Some of these you've already seen, probably not the blue ones. And this peach one, this is bigger. Yeah. Over here is my most fun collection, I think. It's yummy looking. I like the dark chocolate. I just found all of these pieces at thrift stores. It's just amazing that every time I find one, it's different. They're just great. And probably the smaller ones that are simpler are probably hobbyist pieces. I don't really know, but I'm assuming these fancy ones with the painted eyes could be something done by a manufacturer that could have been sold in a Hallmark store. I really haven't researched anything like that, but that is my most fun Easter collection, believe it or not. Before we say goodbye, I'd like you to stay for another short video that Norm did of his fun display window out in our front entrance. He has lots and lots of vintage Easter toys out there. So let's go take a look at that. But again, I want to say thank you so much for your kind support and your very fun comments. If I give you a heart, you know I've read it and Norm has read it. And we really enjoyed hearing from you. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, it's Norm, and this is my Easter window for 2021. I'm just going to pan the camera around here and let you see all these crazy characters. I like these things with, uh, like this duck with the pink feathers, I think you'd call that, but not quite sure what that is, but he's kind of crazy and there's another one over here with his beak open. This big pink rabbit Peggy and I found at the Hutchinson Antique Mall here a few weeks ago when we were out shooting uh, some videos for them. And uh, this big Easter egg up here is one that I found too there that I decided to get. That's uh, the biggest paper mache one I had ever seen. And it's kind of fun. We had a few of these. Everything in the window is uh, Easter related except for one item here when I'm wondering if you uh, know where Waldo is. I wonder if you even know who Waldo is and what that's about. So I'm going to read a little thing about uh, what he is and what's involved. Uh, actually, uh, where's Wally? 
is a British series of children's puzzle books created by an English illustrator, Martin Hanford. The books consist of a series of detailed double page spread illustrations depicting dozens or more people doing a variety of amusing things in a given location. And Waldo is a guy who's got a red and white striped shirt and a stocking cap on and he's usually got a walking stick. He travels around and he's a character that is depicted in all these illustrations that are quite detailed and the whole idea is for everybody to find out where's Waldo. So somewhere in here is Waldo and I'm wondering if you can spot where he's at. But there's a lot to see in here and I'm going to go down closer here to uh, some of the items in the front here. We got some really cute rabbits and roosters with wheelbarrows and ducks and rabbits and chickens and all kinds of crazy stuff. We got these big bunny here with a, in a basket and there's a similar one over here that's uh, a duck and these are just a lot of cute little characters here's a, a bunny on a motor scooter and I'm going to try to move the camera around here because there's a lot to see in there all scrunched together here. Here's a bug-eyed one down here. He's funny looking <laughs> with a bonnet. And there's some chickens here that have wings and they lay eggs if you press them down. Those are kind of hot items for kids when I was young. Always had to have a chicken that would lay eggs. And uh, there's lamb way in the back, a big bunny there. And I got a big basket here with a bunch of stuff in it. These are tin Easter eggs. So, I hope you've seen uh, everything that's in the window. And if you know where Waldo is, let us know. Well, it's a nice, mild evening in March. Uh, it was a windy day today, but the temperature is in the 50s. And I hope you enjoyed looking at this window. It's kind of like a labor of love for me. I, I enjoy making these things, and the kids really enjoy it. And I hope you did too.